hi guys welcome to family create hope you're all doing well so in this video we'll be calibrating our galaxy watch 6 classic with the uh, blood pressure monitor to do this we'll need a medical grade blood pressure monitor with a upper arm cuff and obviously you'll need your phone for the samsung health app and of course you need your galaxy watch 6 classic so let's start the process this process will also work on other samsung watches by the way those of you who have watched my previous uh, blood pressure monitoring video that i did with the galaxy watch 5 pro you will know that this is also region based so some region of the world may not allow this uh, feature so this feature is available here in the uk but if you want to find out if it's available in your region you can go on the samsung website and look up your country and see if the feature is available or enabled in your region just a quick disclaimer samsung does say that you should only use the watch as a guidance and not as a primary source of your monitoring your blood pressure you should always have a medical grade device uh, to monitor your blood pressure if you have serious BP issues. And from my previous experience, uh, results on the watch can vary and can have some inconsistency. So now that's out of the way, I'm going to show you how to set up and calibrate your watch with a medical grade uh, BP monitor. After which you'll be able to use your watch to monitor your BP, but you'll still need this medical grade device because the calibration needs to be done every 28 days. So for the moment, we'll move these out of the way because we need to start off with the watch and the phone. So the watch comes with the app pre-installed already, but the Samsung Health Monitoring app, you have to install it on your phone. But because we've already used the BP monitoring, we've already have it on the phone but we'll show you the process and even if you don't have it once you start using your watch it will prompt you to download it so let's start so on your watch you have the samsung health monitor and then under that you've got blood pressure there So here, your watch calibration has expired. Follow instruction on Samsung Health Monitor to recalibrate your watch. And then you just have to uh, tap on the blue button to open. But if you haven't already installed it, yours will say to install it. Because we've already used it before and our calibration has expired, it's prompting us to recalibrate. So it'll then open up on your phone. So it's giving us the same message again. And then we just want to calibrate the watch. And then once you click on that, it gives you the overview of the calibration process for the watch. So uh, as mentioned earlier, you will need the valid blood pressure monitor, which I showed earlier with the upper arm cuff. And then you will follow instruction within the phone app to take three measurements on your blood pressure cuff. Uh, you will need to wear your watch during this time so it can be calibrated so with all um, calibration and even with the blood pressure monitor it's recommended that you do three reading and then basically you put those in into your uh, phone and then the watch calibrates with the medical device next before proceeding you should know do not change your medication or dosage based on the watch reading always talk to your doctor first so always consult your practitioner don't change any medication avoid caffeine alcohol nicotine or exercise 30 minutes before measuring and do not use if you are pregnant do not use if you have this medical condition so if you go in there you can see the medical condition and read up on it okay let's get started so here you can see the instruction how to put the watch on your wrist it should be above your wrist bone and it should be a snug fit on your wrist next and then it gives the instruction on your watch as well the wrist orientation is set to the left make sure the watch is snug on your wrist so you have to decide depending on which hand you wear your watch if you wear it on your left and do the measurement on the left you have to always use it on your left to take your measurement because that's how the calibration is done with the left hand if you wear it on your right vice versa okay next so fit the blood pressure monitor cuff on the arm opposite your watch so if you have your watch on your left put the cuff on your right so i'm just going to do that now 
So we've got the cuff on the upper arm here. Next. Okay, so start your blood pressure monitor now. And you, on the watch, you've got the instruction here, blood pressure. So your watch will start measuring automatically. So where should we put this? Let's put this here. So we'll start this and the watch has started already. Okay, so our watch is already measuring. Blood pressure monitor has also started. You have to make sure both do the measurement at the same time. And you do need to make sure you're sitting down and relaxing. So the blood pressure monitor is done. The watch is still going and here it is. So the watch measurements finish. Enter the reading from the blood pressure monitor onto the phone and here the reading displayed on your blood pressure monitor. Okay, we have. So um, your watch will use the reading for calibration. Yes, enter now. So now from the monitor, whatever we have here will enter onto the phone. So we've got 113 over 73. So that's done. And then we need to confirm the measurements we've just entered. Confirm. So that's done. So it's now telling us first measurement complete on the watch. Follow the instruction on the phone to continue. To continue the calibration process. So that's the first one. One of the three measurement completed. Keep the watch and cuff on. Follow instruction on the next screen to continue the calibration. So we'll go next here. Make sure your watch is on your wrist and your cuff is on the opposite arm. Yeah, we've got that. Next. Start your blood pressure monitor now. Here we go. So is the watch automatically detected and started as well. Again, sit still and relax and make sure you don't talk while you're taking the measurement. So we've got the second reading now and it's asking us to enter the measurement and we're going to say yes, we want to enter the measurement. So here we have 115 over 73 done and it's asking us to confirm the reading that we've entered. So we're confirming that and it's telling us we've done the second measurement is complete on the watch and on the phone is telling us the same thing and we need to continue by clicking next okay same instruction to make sure the watch is snug fit and on your left okay next start your blood pressure monitor now so we're going to do that now start And now the watch has started as well. So you notice the watch is prompting you and giving you instruction to not to move or talk and to sit still and relax while the reading is being done. So the medical device is done. We're waiting for the watch. So the watch is done. We've got the third measurement. So we'll confirm. Yes, we want to enter. So it's 119 over 75 and done and then it's asking to confirm the entrance confirm so now you can take a blood pressure measurement on your watch and on the phone is telling us calibration is complete so basically now you can take blood pressure measurement on your watch wear the watch on the same wrist as worn during the calibration so basically to take your uh, blood pressure measurement, you can only do it on your left hand because that's the hand you use to uh, calibrate the watch. And then you can go on to how to measure and read instruction. I quickly show. Here we go. We've got the instruction on how to measure. We'll quickly show you as well, uh, but uh, do read through for your information. It's quite detailed. 
go back and we'll say OK. So now that's done, we'll take the um, medical device off. So on the watch, um, the calibration is finished. And to take your blood pressure measurement, uh, j just a quick um, warning, do not change your medication or dosage based on your watch reading. Always consult your doctor or medical practitioner. Just to reiterate that, okay? So now we're gonna do a quick measurement with the medical device grade to see how accurate our first reading will after the calibration from the watch. So um, I've just put on the upper arm band and let's start the medical device blood pressure monitor. Relax. Okay, so we've got the reading here is 111 over 70. So we're gonna do a quick reading on the watch now and see what the difference is between the medical device and the watch. So blood pressure, tap measure to take blood pressure measurement. So shall we try that one? Let's move the phone out of the way and try measuring with the watch and see what sort of reading we get. Okay, so we've got on the watch 113 over 71 and on the medical device we had 111 over 70 so it's pretty accurate so difference of two uh, on the cis and difference of one on the dia so that's impressive and the heart rate is 58 and on the blood pressure uh, medical device is 59 uh, one different that's like excellent i think that's quite a good guide but from time to time i have noticed it can vary so for those reasons i would always say if you are a bp sufferer do have your medical device with you to check and also just to mention that um, compared to uh, Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic seems to be much more accurate uh, in terms of blood pressure uh, reading. So I am really impressed, so is my husband, with the watch accuracy with blood pressure monitoring. Please do comment down below and let us know if you have tried calibrating the watch and done blood pressure reading. Are they as accurate as we found them or do you find them different uh, or inaccurate? Do comment down below and give us your feedback. Also, if you would like us to cover any particular topic or aspect of the watch, please do comment down below and let us know and do our best to cover that. I've also published a battery saving tips for Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Do check it out. It has really helped us out. So that's all for today, guys. Uh, I hope you found the video useful and helpful. If you have, please do give it a like and support us by subscribing, which would really help our channel move forward. Thank you so much. Uh, until next time, do take care. Bye-bye.